I am the famous American. And I have a theory that I want to share with you. Let's sort this out together. Here's my perception of reality. My perception is Texas is more accepting of diversity than California. Now, I know that sounds wrong when you first hear it. Because you no way, California, it's a very liberal state. And they've got so many different types of people there from so many different parts of the world. And especially when it comes to human rights, they're extremely liberal and accepting. That's what we think of when we think of California. And then when we think of Texas, we think of a very conservative state where it's the cowboy way. But when you really think about it and when, and when, and when you sort this out, I feel that Texas is more accepting of diversity. Despite being obviously conservative in California, for the most part, being one of the most, when we think of liberal states in the United States, we think of California as one of the most liberal states. We think of conservative states, we think of Texas as one of the most conservative states. They're still known as being a state that still hangs people as the death penalty. So it's interesting to look at the demographics of the two states. California, very liberal state. Texas, very conservative state. But they're also two of the largest states we have in our, in our nation here in the United States, politically on different sides of the spectrum. But they also both have a lot of diversity. I mean, Texas, just by the history of it, you know, you've got a state where there are a lot of people who are Mexican-American, whether they were born here or not, where they migrated, Mexican-American culture. So much of the whole uh, cowboy culture, there's my bell book, so much of the cowboy culture was because who were the original cowboys? They weren't white guys, they were black men and they were Mexican men. That's the original cowboys. And then white men stole that concept and turned it into movies and made it seem like everyone was white. Most of them actually were black and, and Mexican. That's the, the reality of it. And if you wanna check out the episode of Adam Ruins Everything, he actually explained that. And since then I've made videos about that and people have agreed that, that that's something that a lot of people don't realize. So Texas, despite being very conservative, has quite a history with having people who are Mexican and having people who are black. And that has worked, I feel, comparatively speaking to the way it's worked in California, the su supposed liberal state where people are more accepting of each other. But when I think of the Rodney King riots back in the early 90s, the, and still now, we think of all this tension with police because of black and white, specifically Bruce, uh, Bruce, Bruce Springsteen. Police brutality. I am a Bruce Springsteen fan, by the way. But we see this tension. I even think of the movie, I know it's a movie, but American History X. Have you seen that movie? Like the dad from Boy Meets World is like the racist dad in that family. And this is taking place in California. When I heard about that movie, I, re I thought, oh, it's what Southern state does it take place in? No, it's California. There's a lot of racial tension in California there's a lot of diversity in California, but there's also a lot of diversity in Texas and there always has been. And it seems like people from Texas are getting along better in general compared to California. I mean, this is strongly how I feel. I think Texas does it better. Despite Texas being known as one of the most conservative states there is. They were the first to get rid of the, the mask, to have that whole mandate go away. So they're actually quite progressive when it comes to things like that. But I guess we have to sort out our concept, our idea of what it means to be liberal versus progressive. What if being conservative can actually mean that you're progressive in certain ways? We don't think of it that way, but I'm starting to see it that way. If we were to say, who is less racist as a state? as far as how they actually treat their people and as far as how their people actually get along. Not what do they say that they believe, because if you interview someone from California versus Texas, you may hear a more racist sounding answer from the person from Texas. But when you actually look at people living and getting along in Texas as a whole versus California, is there anyone out there who would agree with me that I'm actually onto something? That, that Texas deals with diversity better, people are more homogenized culturally, despite being black, white, Mexican, whatever it is, and a decent amount of Middle Eastern people. One, for one of the first times I went to, I've been to Dallas several times, but I remember the second time I went there, I was surprised at how many 
Middle Eastern and actually African people, not African American, but people from Africa that were, were all there. Very diverse place there in Dallas specifically. But when I think of diversity and it actually working, it feels like Texas is getting away with it. They're making it work despite being one of the most conservative states as compared to the supposedly all accepting, very liberal progressive state of California. I would love to talk more about this. This is my opinion, but what's your opinion? Can anybody agree with me? Or are we all gonna say that California does diversity better? I really don't think they do. I think Texas wins the point of this. What do you believe? What are your thoughts? I am the famous American. Your comments go right here.